Five mistakes you're probably making when you're posting your TikToks to Pinterest. If you are a TikTok creator, you must have heard and you must have seen this hack that some people are sharing, that you should be posting your TikToks to Pinterest. And if you are already doing it, I bet you are frustrated because things are not happening the way that they were promised. My name is Teresa Toledo. I am a Pinterest expert strategist, and I am here today to make Pinterest easy for you. Don't worry, by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to repurpose your TikTok videos to Pinterest without any issues and in a way that can make you go viral. In this video, I'm breaking down five mistakes that most people are making when repurposing their TikTok to Pinterest. The last one is the worst and can pretty much doom your Pinterest results. Pinterest is a visual search engine and people use it to find ideas, inspiration and creative ways to solve problems. People are also using Pinterest to find things to do, things to buy and things to try. Pinterest is not necessarily a place for entertainment and this takes me to the first mistake I see people doing. Mistake number one thinking that Pinterest is like TikTok and that Pinterest users want the same thing that TikTok users want. Not true. Your most viral TikToks may not get the same reaction and the same results on Pinterest. Don't expect that just because people are loving it on TikTok, people will love it on Pinterest. The funny trending sounds that only make sense for TikTokers, the ones that we love creating that we love using and that sometimes you share with someone and they go what is that i don't see the point of that those will not work on pinterest either when posting your tiktoks to pinterest choose the ones that give value the ones that inspire the ones that teach the not ones that show how to do something or even that showcase a creative or inspiring idea if your tiktoks are showcasing products product variations how to use your product how to style what you're selling that is totally fine those are great for pinterest also if your tiktoks are what we call edu talks or edutainment and they are giving value those are perfect now it's important to keep in mind just because people see your videos on pinterest and they follow you on pinterest that doesn't mean they're gonna hop to tiktok and follow you there mistake number two thinking that pinterest is social media believe it or not pinterest is not social media at least not yet Pinterest is a visual search engine with social media and community building features. And that makes a big difference. The difference is that because Pinterest is a search engine, it makes a huge difference on how you position your content. Your content, you need keywords to be distributed and shared with the right people. Also, Pinterest is an evergreen platform and the content that's only relevant for a short period of time will lose relevance quickly within the platform. That funny thing, that funny meme or video that is really, really hilarious today doesn't stand a chance on Pinterest because the content that you're pinning today is going to keep circulating for months to come. Mistake number three. And this mistake is not a deal breaker, but it may be. You are not removing the TikTok watermark. Yes, it is super easy to download your TikToks from the app. You just tap on the download arrow and it downloads, but it comes with the watermark. And that watermark is not just a tiny watermark at the corner that you can pretty much crop. It is a big watermark that keeps kind of moving around and it becomes just like a sore thumb. Videos with a TikTok watermark will look sloppy and Pinterest may even decrease views and distribution on content that have other platforms watermark. Just like Instagram, Pinterest doesn't want to be a second slops platform. Yes, Pinterest knows that people will create content and repurpose, but let's make it tasteful. Don't make it so obvious. Make sure to do Pinterest, your Pinterest account a huge favor and download your TikTok videos without a watermark. You can pretty much search for um, online TikTok downloader or at the moment just use snaptick.app it is my favorite mistake number four publishing your tiktok videos as video pins instead of idea pins 
Pinterest has different pin formats. In for video, there are video pins and idea pins. While video pins were great a couple of years ago, now with idea pins, video pins are sort of in the limbo and feels like Pinterest doesn't know what to do with them. Idea pins are getting much more distribution, much more views and engagement at the moment than video pins. It's almost like video pins are being overshadowed at the moment. Will the video pins come back, this type of format, make a comeback one day? We don't know, only time will tell. But for now, stick to repurposing your TikToks as idea pins, even if idea pins don't allow you to use a link. Mistake number five, and this might be just the worst mistake you could be doing. Just posting your TikTok videos without any strategy. Just like any pins, your TikToks, when published as idea pins, will need to have certain elements that will allow Pinterest to understand your content, categorize your content, and index it properly so you can get the most possible distribution. And those elements are the same elements that you need for any other type of pin when you are pinning. You will need a proper business account profile with a keyword profile, a keyword description, and your website must be claimed. You need keywords on the pin and boards. When I say keywords on the pins, you need to think about using text overlay. Even if you already have text overlay on that video that came from other platform, think about creative ways of recreating that text overlay sticker on top of what you already have. And do not skip keywords. You are also gonna need pin titles with keywords pin descriptions with keywords, but in the case of idea pins, they're not exactly pin descriptions, they're called notes. You will need Pinterest tags and a call to action. Remember, you're not only pinning or posting your TikTok videos to Pinterest just so you can get views. You also want followers to build an engaged community. You also want people to go to your website. Maybe you want them to sign up to your email list or to buy your product you need to tell them what to do and make it really obvious where to go. If your goal is to get visible and grow your business on Pinterest using your TikTok videos, you must correct any of those five mistakes moving forward. Don't worry about going back and doing over anything that you already did, but focus on what's coming ahead. I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to drop any comments you have and don't forget, check the free resources I have that will make your life much easier when creating your Pinterest business account.